But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love Hey guys, it's Zeke from A Perfect Tumblers and today I am going to be doing a back end tutorial. So before you do any skill you have to stretch, so here are some basic stretches you should do. So pike, your shoulders, your wrists, make sure you get those nice and stretched, your splits and your back. So you could do seal and the bridge. So the skills you should have is a back lumber and a back walkover. Make sure you have those nice and consistent. So the first drill we're going to do is just by having your arms up, then swinging them down by your hips and pushing back off your feet. Make sure you do this onto a couch or a soft surface like mats. So if you have access to one of these back handspring rolling supporter things, then it's best if you start using those first, but if you don't, it's completely fine. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the trim. So you're going to need a spot that you trust and that can lift your body weight. And so what they're going to do is they're going to put their dominant hand on your thigh and their non-dominant hand on your lower back. So they're just going to push you up and backwards and yeah, and just use less and less support until you can sort of do it by yourself and then you're just going to have to commit and do it so just keep practicing and practicing try and get it better and better and you can also record yourself to see how you will improve or if you are lead to straight so once you feel comfortable with it you can try it on a really really soft surface like just chuck some cushions on the ground or you can even use a mattress and just try it on there with a spot so from there, and once you feel comfortable, you can just go for it on the ground. Just don't collapse your arms. And just push through your shoulders heaps, and just keep on practicing. And yeah, and you get it. Just believe in yourself, and if you're having struggling going for it. Just don't think about it too much. Make sure you practice lots and lots of handstand pops, just so you get your popping off your hands when you do your big handspring and some handstand snap down so you know to push off your hands when you land and just practice your back handspring on the ground lots and lots and just commit and yeah if you practice enough it will get better and better some combinations you can try is cartwheel back handspring and back handspring back handspring and also round off back handspring so if you want to try, you can try a back handspring step out, which is basically the same as a back handspring, but you're just stepping out early. So just practice this, it probably won't look as good as you expect at first time, but just keep on practicing and it'll get better.